Hello everyone, this is Black Naganashi here with your Adventure Quest video. And this video has been requested by Isaac Mills Delarge. Hopefully I pronounce your last name right. If not, I apologize. Please feel free to correct me in the comments below. Alright, um, this video will be me basically talking about my favorite armors of all time. Do commentary. Alright, and um... To be honest, I'm not going to be attacking in these armors actively in this video. I'm just going to be telling you, you guys, you know, my favorite armors. All right. So this list may vary. And when I say vary, I mean like it will change for the better because the armors that are my favorite will always be my favorite. Um, I will never take away armors from my favorite unless something extremely drastic happens to them which isn't really common thank goodness so it's usually going to be almost added to this list over time all right so let's begin all right so the very first armor in my list would be the asgardian plate um it's quite obvious considering my you know my channel you know profile picture and you know the theme um the biggest reason because before i started making adventure quest videos I used to always watch the legends, you know, do their do their thing, <clears throat> excuse me, in this armor. And to be quite honest, it was it was most definitely a treat to my eyes watching this armor do its thing, especially when it had its old attack animation. All right, um, the entrance animation, of course, is still the same, which is love. Um, the entrance animation is beautiful to me personally, um, and maybe basic to other armors but that's fine i still love it more than literally every other um armor entrance animation in the game and this armor will always be number one in my eyes like always be number one okay um second armor would be choco bunny and the biggest reason for that is because it's a promo item, and I think it was one of the very first promo items I got, other than Oppo uh which I had got rid of a long time ago, and I low-key still regret get rid of, getting rid of it. Um, but Choco Bunny, to be honest, like, like it, it wasn't the most powerful, to be honest. It was just there for joke reasons, to be perfectly honest. Like, um, this armor only scales to... 120 but even still it didn't really have that much attack power if it received the buff it would probably be a better armor but probably wouldn't be better than a lot of earth armors but it's just you know i like chocolate even though i don't really eat chocolate like that but i just i just like the the rarity that it has <clears throat> personally all right let's see the third armor um i don't have it I don't think I have it in my uh, inventory, actually. No, I don't have it in my inventory. Um, I think I got rid of it to replace it with a rare. But that third armor is the Fusion Plate. And biggest reason is because of the stance. Uh, the stance is dope as fuck, to be honest. I love the stance of the armor. And it's, it's pretty dope. And the attack animation... The attack animation for the Fulgen plate was always dope. Um, I remember I couldn't wait to basically unlock all three attacks for the armor because um, I think for almost like Asgardian plate and Fulgen uh, Nemesis back then, uh, Rain plate, I think that might have been it. I think for those type of armors, um, you unlocked additional attacks until level 120. So, um, I think Nemesis were different back then, though, because Nemesis didn't have a um, level 120 variant. It had a, it had a, um, I think a level 90 variant, like the Golden Plate. But either way, um, Fusion Plate was extremely good. It still is. It's actually a lot better. That's actually one armor that received a revamp that it deserved, and it fits perfectly, to be honest. 
only thing I don't like is the um, animation. The one animation they made it go like more like uh, horizontal, which is kind of dumb. It looks so basic now, but the old way looked a lot better, personally. But it's no real big deal. You know, it's just a small detail change. But Fujin Plate will always be one of my top armors as far as like looks, you know, and how it works. All right. Um, let's take a look. Oh, how could I forget? Um, Terror Raymond. Okay, Terror Raymond. Um, is one of my top armors also because of how useful it is. Um, the amazing darkness defense, the effect that it has, the strength that it has, even without the effect, or if it never had the effect, which makes it even more dope. Um, <clears throat> the entrance animation isn't too bad. It's actually, it's actually nice, you know, to be honest. I, I like it a lot. Um, the attack animation... Especially the, the one hit is pretty fast. Um, the, it's just the armor overall is just it's nice. Even the aura, even though it's red, I'm not a big fan of red. I'm a blue type guy. Um, I really don't like red, but I make an exception for that armor and many other armors because of the usefulness and, you know, the it, it's, it's just really it, the usefulness. Because if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't have a lot of things in this game that's red. Okay. Um how could I forget the um the kindred the kindred's valiance? Um reason being because when I first saw this armor in action, I was like, damn this armor strong as fuck. And it was actually one of the very first armors I've seen do over a thousand damage back in the day, um, before the game got its massive update over time. Because a lot of armors could not hit over a thousand damage without certain conditions all right and this armor alone could do over a thousand damage with the correct stats the um correct um setups and it was always beauty to my eyes all right and i'm pretty sure a lot of people when they first got this armor in the past was amazed by this armor and then um this armor was a go-to armor for many people because of the fact that, like, the damage output was beautiful um, before it got its first adjustment, which was the fact that if you switch anything, it will reset its focus. People will be defensive while focusing, and then they switch to offensive and then attack with their focus five attack. But then once it got adjusted, it still was good, you know. So the fact that this armor remain good throughout all these changes is the brink of a great armor and there should be nobody that does not have this armor at all even with its uh, most updated form it's lovely i think it's better i think it's a lot better than it ever was in its form and adventure quest um the adventure quest team they did a great job on this armor like a lot of people may look at this armor as overpowered, but it's really not, because you have to work for the damage. But overall, this armor is dope. I most definitely went in on this armor, but, I mean, hey, you know, shit. <laughs> Alright, um, White Knight, honestly, because I like the art, I'm not going to sit here and hold you, it's the art. Um, the fact that this is one of my primary ways of um, nuking, alongside Kindred and Terror. All right, um, White Knight always was good to me. Um, it was it was good to me for a long time. Uh, if I wasn't a Guardian already, I would have upgraded just for this armor, probably. But probably other things instead. But either way, I, I I found a way to get it. You know what I'm saying? Either way, you know what I'm saying? I went on ahead and do what I had to do to get my Z tokens. And hey, I got that shit, and it's a great investment. Um, to be honest, uh, it's not the best light armor in the game. The reason why it technically is is because of the nuke. Without the nuke, this armor would be probably somewhere in people's inventory uh, storage, or probably not used at all. But there's other armors that hit hard 
overall. Um, but this um, Amish, Amish skill makes it extremely viable, and that's why people still use it. All right, so uh, next is the Revenant. Now, this armor, honestly, is useless. It's very useless. Um, but I like it for its effect, for fun, of course, because, you know, I'm not going to use it in a serious battle unless needed. Um, the effect could have been tweaked to make this armor a lot better. The art was rushed, okay? The art was motherfucking rushed. They could have did a better job on the art, you know? And I think that's another big reason why people don't use it, because the art is trash. I don't know what AQ was thinking when they did this armor, um, as far as art. The attack power was pretty good. It has two different types of attacks, even though they're, um, it's, it's two different types of two-hit attacks. But, you know, I think one is stronger than the other, of course, because, you know, it wouldn't be too... Um, Titus of Attacks that does the same amount of damage, you know what I'm saying? But either way, Revenant is it's it's an okay armor. Um, I wouldn't really say it's a must-have, only because like if you only have eight armor slots and you needed a seriously good armor, honestly, I would not recommend this. But I love it for my own reasons. All right. Uh, next would be Santa, okay? Uh, the reason is, um, it's because I like the way it looks. It looks kind of cool. And then that, the Ice Beam, you know, yet another good-ass armor skill, it does a lot of damage, okay? And for this armor to be neutral, it's, it does its, it does its job. It does its job. Um, I wish there was a level 150 variant and not a level 145 variant. But either way, this armor isn't. It, it, it's it's no slouch. Um, it's it's great for nuking and quick damage. Um, other than that, uh, I'm not gonna say it's a bad armor, but like the regular attack is a little bit weak, a little bit, just a little bit. But it's pretty fast, so it makes up for it with the speed. All right, so it's it's not that bad of an armor. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, Hand of Terrasol. Um, biggest reason being is because of the fact that this was honestly and literally my very first $100 Z token package item. Um, it's a strong ass armor overall. Still, to this day. To this day. To this day. Like, seriously, like. When I first bought this armor and I took it into battle, I was like, damn, it's been forever since this armor came out and I'm finally getting it and it's still good. Like, that's the best feeling ever when you buy an item and it's still strong even after so long of it being out and the staff hasn't touched it and made it weaker or something else hasn't came and blew it out the water. It's still extremely viable. It's, a, it's, it's actually a pretty basic um, armor. You know, it has a, a nice armor skill that does, you know, pure damage, um, which is extremely good, you know, especially when stacked with uh, boosters. Everything's good with boosters. And it's just, it's just, it's dope. I really like this armor a lot. Um, I'll actually, at some point in time, need to put it in my active inventory because, you know, it's offensive, of course, so I need that damage. Um... A lot of people aren't too fond of this armor, but I like this armor, and I'm about to tell you why. So, Hydro Campus Rider um, is one of my favorites because of the fact that, like, when I watched Pure Evil, Pure Evil inspired me to really like this armor um, because of the fact that, yes, it's neutral, all right, but don't ever sleep on neutral armors, ever, okay? That's the first thing. Second thing is, this armor has a good attack power and like the 25% chance of the tail of this hydro campus hitting the opponent and usually the tail hit is stronger than the initial hit itself some of the time depends on your stats of course um i just kind of wish it showed like a little like a little um smacking animation or some type when it does but it just show it just does an extra hit you know what i'm saying when you know you do the attack I mean, it's not that bad. It's no big deal, to be honest. It's just an attack. But I like this armor a hell of a lot. 
um, you know I don't really use it like that because you know there's Kendrick so I mean sorry Hydro Campus but it still has a place in my heart nonetheless uh, next armor would be goddamn Frozen Dragon Slayer biggest reason is because the attack you know the, the base attack um, a lot of people probably thought I was about to say the armor skill first no I mean it's still bomb as fuck but um, the the regular attack is fast and it does surprise you with heavy hits for a neutral armor, which is really dope. I love surprise damage. That that shit gets me excited when I am attacking in a battle and I just hit hard as shit for no reason. And it's big ass numbers. Like, I love it. That will always be my thing as far as events are quest seeing large numbers pop up on the screen. Um, but yeah, Forge and Dragon Slayer does have amazing art and it's blue, which is the best color, so... You can't get any better than that. Like, seriously, you cannot get any better than that. Real shit. Um, next would be... I honestly want to say the, um, the Hato, um Salvation Armor. Uh, because of the fact um, it has beautiful art. I love the art. Um, the armor skill is, is fucking love. Because you look like you're just releasing corruption onto your enemy. Um... It's, a new, it's another neutral armor. Um, it has great water defense. And I think it has a secondary to dark, I think. Um, don't quote me on it. Um, the attack animation is eh, it's okay. But, I mean, it's a staple animation to a lot of other armors. Um, but overall, the art and the armor itself appeals to me. And it's good for style, personally. It's really good for style. <laughs> Shit. Excuse me. All right. Next armor is Shadow Walker at time. Um, this armor is beautiful, to be honest. Um, I remember when people was waiting for this armor to come out. People kept rushing this, and this shit was about to go into an Arc Mage um, effect. Now, if you don't know what the Arc Mage effect is, the Arc Mage effect is when people was constantly... Um, like rushing the release of the Archmage class and it got to the point where so many years had went by and the class never released um to be honest i'm gonna say this perfectly confident okay and if this happens you know you guys can roast me or whatever the case may be or you know it don't matter okay but I am confident that Archma Archmage is never releasing, okay? So for anyone who still wants Archmage, which I'm pretty sure no one does at this point anymore because the hype has died a long time ago. Like, it got to a point where AQ literally put the little, um, you know how they have the previews of things that's about to release or whatever? They had a preview of it on the homepage for a short while, and they took it down. Um, there's actually a video on that actually still up somewhere on YouTube you know of a person literally just recording the the art made uh, the art mage preview and it never got released they like they had the the shit is crazy because they had the armor the arm they had the armor in a little preview and everything they had that shit they probably do have it you know in production they, they probably even got that shit they probably been had that shit ready to be honest but because people kept, you know, talking about it and rushing it and all this other shit, people just, they just said, "Fuck it, we're not, we're not, uh, we're not releasing Art Mage." You know, so it, it 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 died, it killed the hype like so bad to the point where people don't even talk about that shit unless they trolling. All right, but other than that, Shadow Walker of Time, um, it's a really good armor. Um, it's a must-have in my opinion. I'm not sure if it's even possible to get anymore and. The way you get it, you have to buy it. I think you have to buy a calendar, but um, that's an old ass calendar, so I wouldn't even like, like other than you know the armor and probably the art of the calendar, because like they do have some good art. I actually need to cut the pictures out the calendar and you know hang them up actually to be real, because you know that year been passed and you know I, I still have I still have the calendar actually, but yeah, this armor is most definitely love. Um. Let's see what's next. Oh, oh yeah, uh, Midnight Predatory Vampire Form. Um, 
I like the art. I like the um, entrance animation. And I love the effect of the armor. Um, I hated the color of the original Predatory Vampire form because it was red, you know, the usual. Um, but when this came out, I was like, yes. Yes, this shit is beautiful as fuck. Very beautiful. Um, I haven't used it in a while. Um, the armor is actually still pretty good. Um, but I just prefer the terror because the uh, the fear effect. And sometimes I can get a bonus turn. So that's why I have this alley at the bottom. And that because it's, you know, the longest name of, you know, armor. Um, it's pretty fucking dope, to be honest. It's really fucking dope. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting a couple. Okay. Um, to be honest... Uh, I I have other favorite armors to be honest, but I can't even think of them off the top of my head, cause you know they either went rare or they're not in uh, my inventory. So I mean, either way, they're not in my inventory. So I mean, fuck. Uh oh yeah, how could I forget? Um, Star Slayer. Star Slayer. Okay, so. The attack animation, the forehead one, is literally one of the biggest reasons why this is my favorite armor. All right. Um, honestly, another thing about this is like if if the AQ team would update the character pages to to the point where um, color custom um, armors would actually show up color custom on the page, I would actually put this at the top because it would look dope as fuck. To be honest, yeah, my character face ain't showing, but so what. You know what I'm saying? Even though you can use Star Savior, but I mean, that, that looks kind of dumb. That's really dumb to me, so I'm going to keep the hood on. But, you know, I'll just, you know, put my colors on and put the shit on my cut page. But, like, it just shows up as the default Guardian uh, colors, which is um, gray and yellow. And a lot of people, a lot of the uh, people that play this don't rock gray and yellow as far as the Guardian plate. So, like, it's no use unless you really like those colors or you just really like the armor that much. To the point where you don't even really care about um, putting that on there. Like, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I think I think that's it. To be honest, as far as my favorite armors of all time. Um, now, if people if people decide to do this, because this is not mandatory. To be perfectly honest, if people decide to drop like possible armors that I might like in the comments or a link or something. I mean you don't really have to check you don't really have to drop a link to be honest. But like just drop the name of an armor that I might like. I'll probably do a video on arms that I wish I had, you know. But um only through request of course because like I'm not just gonna do it just because um I still am sticking by my preference of doing videos by request. Or through motivation and determination, you know, the usual. Not really going to go into that same sad song. All right. Um, um, I don't know what my next video is going to be. Unless someone else requests, you know, something else. Um, but I just want to make sure I put this video out there. To show that, you know, of course I do read comments. Sometimes people comment stuff that I don't get to in time. Or that... I uh, get too busy to the point where I'm unable to get back to the people and to those people. I apologize. Um, trust me, um, I'm not ignoring you guys. I just, you know, I get, you know, so sidetracked with so many things going on life-wise. Not, not bad things, of course. You know, I just get distracted. Okay, so please forgive me. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. So um, I just want to get this video out the way. All right. Um. Stay tuned for your next Black Naganashi video. Um, I will also be um, I will also be trying to get better at my intros, to be honest. Because I'm not gonna say I'm tired of my intro, but like I kind of am. But I just want to try something new. It's probably gonna be in the same lines, but you know, just something new. Because I know I've been changing my intros over the years and. I kind of want to do a new one. It is 2019, and it's about to be the middle of the year already in the next two months. So, you know, why not? You know, so just wanted to let you guys know that. Um, uh, one more thing.
to those who make it to this part of the video, okay? I have a favor to ask anyone who can help to anyone who um, has resources, all right? So um, there is this old game that I used to play when I was a kid. It's called Chips Challenge, okay? Now, yes, this is not AQ related, but please still hear me out. Um, so I have the game downloaded to my laptop, okay? And I'm trying to launch it, of course, but I can't play it because um, it's an old game. It's a Windows, I think it's a Windows 95 game. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's a Windows 95 game. And I don't know what software I need to download to get it to work. I used to know back then on one of my very old laptops. No, I think it was my sister's laptop in the past. All right. But ever since I got, you know, my, okay. Okay. Ever since then, I got two new laptops. I gave my old laptop before this one to my sister. And I, I think, I don't think that one had Chips Challenge on there either. Or a working one with the software that I had. Um, but the one that I was using, which was my sister's, had it but I forgot and I think my sister either broke that laptop or it's gone or something but I need to figure it out but if anyone can help you know drop the software um, in the comments below that allows you to play old Windows games um, that will earn you a shout out you know of course a whole shout out video and you get a free request of your choice all right only conditions okay only conditions of that request is I'm, I'm not trying to be that guy um, only because of my time it cannot involve a build change that's my only that's my only you know breach of you know requests it cannot involve a build change even though I do have two characters of other builds pyramid and um, lucky beast mage but they're outdated to be quite honest and um like it will be boring to watch them on a youtube video to be honest so i don't even really get on those accounts slash character at all so but yeah that's basically it sorry to talk you guys head off um so just you know stay tuned for my next video um i might even post a separate a separate video on the whole chips challenge thing so i can you know break it down in better detail but i just want to put it out there real quick so that's it for you guys um take care and battle on